Veg TV on the road with your host Marie Ozer. I'm here with Georgia Fox, CSI, Crime Scene Investigation, CSI. Correct. How many episodes have they shot? You know, I have no idea. Hundreds. We really don't. I know that some time ago we we had presents for 150th episode. I think we're getting. I think they're getting pretty close to two. I've seen them all. Oh, wow, thanks. Georgia is the gala chairperson. I know, how'd I sneak in, huh? How'd that happen? I feel very lucky. Longtime vegetarian, vegan, you support animal advocacy, you've done it for many years. I asked you once, what was your epiphany? It was a meatball sub in Brooklyn, and that was great. Just told that story a couple of days ago. What are they going to do here with this gala? Isn't it targeted for a specific emergency fund? Well, first of all, this is amazing. I mean, Lori's been out here, I think, about two years. This, this gala event has doubled since last year, and it's so beautiful to see. People are really excited, everybody's smiling, and the farm looks gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So uh, I think they're, they're targeting funds for a couple of things, but one of the ones that I'm very excited about, of course, is ACI, which is Animal Cruelty Investigations. Um, California, we're all very lucky to live here, has the luxury of having some laws on the books that protect farm animals and animals that are raised for food. So this will allow animal acres to go out and enforce the laws that are already on the books. I think their hope tonight is to raise enough money to hire a full-time humane uh, law enforcement agent. And that's essentially somebody who, similar to a police officer, but what they specialize in is animals and animal cruelty and animal advocacy issues and protecting those laws and making sure that people heed those laws. I think that uh, this, the whole ACI uh, program will continue to bring more attention to the issues, which will raise citizens' awareness and even stricter laws will get passed, and it'll just have this beautiful domino effect. What would you say to anyone out there who wants to do something for Animal Acres? How can they get involved? Uh, there's a whole bunch of ways to get involved with Animal Acres. Uh, Animal Acres sustains itself I, almost entirely by volunteers. So that's volunteers that actually work on the farm and get their clothes dirty and their hands dirty. Uh, there's help that they need in the office, administrative needs. There's advocacy needs, you know, people that are, are excellent public speakers that can go out there on a day-to-day -day basis and communicate not only to schools but to lawmakers and educators and, and city councils and politics. Um, and of course, you know, it's a, it's a non-profit organization. They sustain themselves due to the generosity of folks that live in the country. So certainly if you can support them financially, that's also a great way to do it. Thank you so much, Georgia.